inheritance. This will be the first in a series of videos we look at this week covering chapters 5, 6, and 9 from the Python tutorial. You'll notice right now we're inside a directory called My Package. We'll talk a little bit more about packages as we progress through the videos. For now, I want to look at a module I've created called Animal. And in this module are several classes. First is the class Animal, which has a constructor that takes only a name. Then it has a method called run, which prints the name of the animal, followed by ran away. The class human, you'll notice, has a slightly different syntax from what we saw with animal. With animal, there were no parentheses next to the class name animal. Next to human, is a set of parentheses inside of which is animal. This is how we tell the interpreter that the class human inherits all the traits of the animal class. The human class is in fact a more specific example of the animal class. It has a class attribute, species, which is human, and that will be the case for every instantiation of the human class. It also has instance, instance variables, name and hobby, which are given to human as it is instantiated, and then notice we have this word super. So what we are doing here is calling the super constructor. So what does that mean? The super constructor is the constructor of the parent class. The human class is the child class. Its parent class is animal. So what we are doing is calling the constructor of animal. In other words, this code right here is part of the constructor of human. We call it by using the method super. We pass in the name of the child class. We pass in self, meaning the instance. And then we call init with the name so this should look just like a call to this method here if you were calling it as a method. And then hobby is an instance variable all on its own and not something that the animal class has. And so we instantiate that just inside of the instance of human. Horse is another child class of animal. Its class variable species is understandably different from the species variable within the human class. But you'll notice inside its constructor, we're doing the same thing we're doing inside the human class. That is, we're calling the constructor of the parent class, giving it the name of this horse and then we're initializing rider just inside of horse itself. So kind of high level way to think about this is that a horse is an animal and a human is an animal and so these two kinds of animals share certain traits in common. That is, they share 
what any animal would have, a name in this case. But then a human and a horse each have traits that the other would not have. So every animal has a name, but only humans have a hobby in this instance, in this implementation, and only horses have a rider. Finally, we have a method inside horse called finish, which just prints out that the horse has finished, looks like a race. And the rider, it turns out, will be an instance of human, which is why we can call rider.name. And then we have some code here that we'll execute to see how these classes work together. We'll have a human named Wilbur, who likes riding. We'll have a horse named Ed, whose rider is Wilbur. Notice the object, the human object, Wilbur. We're going to print out Wilbur likes riding, and then we're going to print out Wilbur, Ed's rider's name, has a horse, the species of horse, named Ed, the name of this horse. And then we're going to call the run methods. Now recall that the run method inside the animal class simply prints the name of the animal and then ran away. An inheritance is working for us here. By making us able to call the run method on both an instance of a horse and an instance of a human, they both inherit from the animal class, and so they both inherit all of the traits and methods of the animal class, including the run method. I realized I had forgotten to add if name equals main to animal.py, so I paused the video and did that. And once we are able to run animal.py, this is the output of main just as we described. Wilbur likes writing. We're making use of the information stored in human, that instance of human. Wilbur has a horse named Ed. We're making use of the information stored in the instance of horse, which includes as one of its, as one of its instance variables the instance Wilbur as its owner. And then finally, we're able to make both the horse and the owner, or the ho horse and the rider, run away. Because both inherit from the animal class, which has that method run. We'll use these classes more in the next videos.